Good evening Avengers and welcome to round 18 action here at Green Gully Reserve as Green Gully host Avondale FC. I'm here with Brandon Lundy, proudly presented by our major partners UCS Clover, Indeco and Goldfields. Brandon, take us through your thoughts today before we uh, kick off this huge match. Big game today against Green Gully, you know, last game was 1-0, um, so maybe we've got the upper hand on them, but um, again, massive, massive game today that um, the club needs and um, you know, we're buzzing for it. I think the boys are up for it today. How are the boys feeling after that midweek match? I mean, it was uh, on Tuesday, I had a midweek match. Mm. Are they feeling a little bit tired, you think, or do we get a bit of squad rotation today? No, no, I don't think the boys are tired at all. I think it's given the boys confidence running into this game. You know, we've we've done a few games on the trot now that we've won, so I think we're I think we're buzzing and ready to go. The boys look good in training, so. Yeah. Who do we need to be scared of uh, or aware of, if you like, uh, in the Green Gully squad? Ah, uh, you know, the, you know, they've got a few forwards up top. You know, you got the Bernardas and Salmons and stuff like that. So they're good players as well. But I think the boys are ready to take them on. Did he do a good job? Excuse me. I think he could quit his plumbing job and he could start <laughs> doing this. <laughs> That's it. Bravo. Back in round five, it was just an unfortunate error from Liam Driscoll that allowed Stefan Valentini to score the goals. Game's one and only goal. Although there's every reason that we'll see a few more years ago in both teams. They from the comms team as Salmon delivers and it takes a deflection wide of goal. Fortunately so, I think that was an Avondale head for whom it came last. I might just take this brief moment to read out the teams. Starting with the home side, it was Green Gully. Starting in goal, number one, Liam Driscoll. Number three, Jordan Lampard. Number five, Luke Adams. behind here for Mamadi Kamara. He's got Josh Hope to his left. He'll go himself and hitting the side netting, Mamadi Kamara. The path of Bernada. He's going to Avondale defenders for company. Now Salmon will deliver it in, and the flick on is over the top and into the roof of the netting from James Doyle. Has a bit of Carlos Tevez to him, doesn't he? In the way that he attacks the ball, and the way that he presents, the way he runs at defenders. A rare attacking opportunity for Avondale here. Boland, first time ball for Yusuf Ahmed. He hasn't had too much of a feature. Now it's cut across for Liam Boland, and Ahmed will strike it on the underside. And goodness gracious me, Stefan Zinni. Couldn't work at home off the rebound against the crossbar. Can win be now for Gully. It's sent flat and Adams will try to connect with it first time. In fact, it's Alex Salmon. And he's put the effort right down the breadbasket of Bon Scott. Easy in the end. From Hope into the path of Jeremy Walker. And Alex Salmon is open on this left-hand side. Now, first touch is good. Can he find a ball into the middle? Bon Scott has palmed it into a dangerous area. And they've conceded. Come back to that in a moment. Down the right streams, Mamdi Kamara. It's cut back for Luke Jego, and he's found the top right corner. Gully have been huffing and puffing, and finally, they've blown the Avondale house down with a peach of a goal from Luke Jego. And we said it was a game that had goals in it. Finally, it delivers. Lipped in the path of Noel Bernada, and Matthew Reed outstretched. And Alex Lieber does not hesitate in pointing to the penalty spot. Salmon up against Bon Scott, and it's off the post from Alex Salmon. That is not something you say very often from 12 yards. Lucky Flanagan and Katie Lambeski to take you through the second 45, as we did the first here on NPL.TV. And Katie, as I bring you into the call, it is Green Gully currently ahead. Does it stay that way in the second 45? How do you see this playing out? Still got plenty of football left to play, and Avondale have got plenty of work to do. Manny Agwek with the early shot, blazing over. Delightfully shaped into the middle, and Reed has his header off the crossbar. All the action tonight for Matthew Reed has been at that end. First time delivery away by Hillier and brought down nicely by Trocheski. And then the pass over the top, kept in play by Stefan Valentini. And Agwek, the lone man in the middle, he might go himself. Stefan Valentini, and what a fine save from Liam Driscoll, the big left palm. Wait. I understand wanting to catch him on the transition, but I think it's going to be a team effort, particularly an attack that's going to get them the win, uh, the, get them either win or something out of this game. Valentini going for the early shot and it had some serious, serious swerve on it. Still go either way, really. Katabian, another decent ball this time. Hillier stretching the sinews, sent back in all the way to the back and Carpenter over the top. Salmon tried to just lay it down for Ethan Brooks. Tavian behind for Liston Diaz. 
stay inside the bounds of play and the ball into the middle looking for Steph Valentini. It's still alive, the flick over the top from Agwek! He's done it! Once again, Avondale, the comeback kings. And it's Manny Agwek, the scorer of a scrappy goal. But it's enough for Avondale. One all as we... And that'll be the final action. Avondale rescuing a point at the death in a cracking game of football here at Green Gully Reserve.